it's great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today is the day before Easter 2021 and I am making a dessert for tomorrow. I've already made my famous hobo beans. Uh, we're going to do some hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill, color some eggs, have some Easter egg hunts, scavenger hunts, all kinds of fun things with the family. But it is Easter, folks, so I have my Jesus apron on. See if you can get the, the whole thing here. Catch up, get it, <laughs> with Jesus. Let us praise and relish him, because he loves me from my head to my toes. Tomatoes. <laughs> I love it. I love this apron. Got it on Amazon. So if any of you want to run out and buy one, I don't think you'll get it before Easter, but oh well. So I hope all of you are blessed this Easter and that you get to have fun with the family and friends. And I hope you're all in good health. So let's get started. What we're going to make today is blueberry pie lush. Hmm, I wonder why it's called lush. Let's just see. Why is it called Blueberry Pie Lush? Here's one of the meanings. There's several meanings, and, and one would have nothing to do with food. Uh, you know, if you're talking about looking at somebody who is lush in appearance. This one would be very rich and providing great sensory pleasure. So, Blueberry Pie Lush is on the menu for today. Let's get started. It's not going to take you long at all. Most of you already have the ingredients in your home. You're going to need two cups of Graham crackers, which is about two of these, 14 to 16 whole Graham crackers. And we're going to divide that up. Four tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm going to have to cut this in half. One cup of granulated sugar. Eight ounces of cream cheese. Make sure you let that sit out a few hours ahead of time. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, two thirds cup of white chocolate chips, and I am using Nestle Toll House. It says 16 ounces of Cool Whip divided. Well, I have two eight ounces. So all of you math majors out there know that eight ounces plus eight ounces equals 16 ounces. So I got my Cool Whip ready, and we will need one 21 ounce can of blueberry pie filling. I happen to have some left over from another recipe. I bought extra and this says organic lucky leaf. You use whatever pie filling you want here, but I'm going to use this. First, we're going to make the crust. Preheat your oven to 350. Is it pronounced gray ham crackers or graham crackers? Is the H silent? Gray ham or graham? Graham crackers. That's usually the way I pronounce them, graham crackers. This is interesting stuff, isn't it, folks? Sorry. I just tend to ramble. And I'm going to be leaving here for work shortly. Try to get a few hours of work in, and then get back, and we're going to have our food outdoors tomorrow. It's supposed to be in the mid-60s here. That'll be nice. We just had 30 degrees. What was it? Yesterday or the day before in the snow? <laughs> Crazy. Okay. See if I can crush this without it coming out of these bags. I, of course, bought the cheapest bags possible so the zip doesn't stay zipped. So for the crust, we're going to put one and two thirds cup graham cracker crumbs, melted butter, and one third cup of sugar in a nine by 13 inch baking pan that has been sprayed with non-stick spray. So I've already sprayed my pan with vegetable oil cooking spray. I melted my, what is it, four tablespoons of unsalted butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. I have my one third cup of sugar here, so we'll keep the other two thirds over here. So let's get started. I set aside one third cup of graham cracker crumbs and we'll use the other cup and two thirds in our pan here. Okay, I'm just gonna spread that around a little bit. We're going to put our melted butter 
and our one third cup of sugar. And let's mix that around a little bit. And don't get it on the counter like I do. And I'm going to end up mixing this around with my fingers like I always do. That gets that sugar started to turn into little clumps because of the melted butter. Oh, geez, I have it going on the floor and everything. I tell you what, I know most of you out there are probably better than I am in the kitchen. But mainly my job is just to show you simple, simple recipes that anyone can make, even your teenage kids. And that you can do it in a basic kitchen with basic gadgets. Nothing fancy here, folks. Nothing fancy. Okay, next we're going to press firmly. And then we are going to bake it at 350 degrees for eight minutes. Time to cool the pie crust. I'm going to put my white chocolate chips in the microwave for about a minute to melt, and I'll stir them after about 30 seconds. In a large dish, go ahead and put your cream cheese. That was eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm going to cut that into sections to make it easier to beat. We are to put our two-thirds cup of granulated sugar and our vanilla. And that is one teaspoon vanilla. And we are to beat that until smooth. You know what? I totally forgot to stir my white chocolate chips and there's only two seconds left. Right there they go. I cannot do two things at one time. All right, mine took about a minute 15 seconds. I had to put it back in for an additional 15. So it's nice and creamy. But we're gonna let that cool a little bit before we put in our other ingredients. So let's go ahead and beat this. Of course, we're not gonna wanna let our uh, chocolate chips cool the whole way, so it'll just turn back into a solid. This should have like an icing consistency. Okay, it's not hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. So now we're gonna beat this until well combined. I'm trying not to eat today, folks. Tempted to lick my fingers, but I'm not gonna. Because you always got to test taste the beaters. So let me just test taste. Good. I put my graham cracker crust in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. That makes it cool a whole lot quicker. That way we're not waiting around too long. Okay, so next we want to fold in half of the Cool Whip which would be one of these eight ounce containers. You just want to gently stir that in. Then we're going to spread this over our graham cracker base. So we got that spread. Now I need to test taste the mixture. It's really good, really good. Excellent, as a matter of fact. Too good, too good. Okay, next we are going to layer the blueberry pie filling. Spread evenly over the cheesecake layer. So let's get our blueberry pie filling, which is a 21 ounce can. I'm gonna use my handy dandy can opener, which is a little slow at times, but that's okay. Sometimes it doesn't know when to stop either. It doesn't understand that it is completely done. All right, so let us spread the pie filling. Last but not least, we need to spread the last eight ounces of Cool Whip. Well, actually, that's not the last thing we need to do. Then we're going to sprinkle our third cup of graham crackers on top of the Cool Whip. 
Make sure your Cool Whip is thawed also. You want to take it out of the freezer, put it in the refrigerator, and maybe let it thaw overnight. You don't want to set it out on the countertop to thaw. Now let's sprinkle the rest of our graham crackers, our third cup that was set aside. And then cover and put it in the fridge for at least four hours. I'm making this the day in advance. So this will be served tomorrow. So a lot of times it's best if you just put it in the fridge overnight. So I'll let you know tomorrow what I think of the recipe. I don't see how it can be bad with all the ingredients we have. Okay, I know I was going to wait till morning to try this, but it's about 8.30 at night. It's been in there long enough that I can try it and see what my thoughts are on this blueberry pie lush. I'm just going to, you know, cut myself out a piece, but I'm just going to have a few little tastes tonight because, well, just because I don't need to. Oh, yummy, yummy. Let's see here. Yes, indeed. Very good. You know what? I probably really should not have done this. I should have waited till morning because it's going to be hard for me not to finish this piece of blueberry pie lush. But I'm going to have one more bite. That's it. Look at the layers. You know what? I'd give that a 9.5 out of 10. That is good. That is good. Yep. Made a 9 by 13. Will be nice for the party tomorrow. Yum, yum, yum. I'd highly recommend it. Thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, folks. Hope to see you real soon.